Right, what's going on everybody welcome back to a quick youtube video i'm just gonna get right into it you know recently in my business we've been doing a lot of activities that cut into profit margins that you know create higher leverage for me um you know right now my goal for 2023 monthly revenue is anywhere from 400 to 500 thousand dollars a month and uh we're already about halfway there um at le at least a 50 percent profit margin right and that's selling our products the consulting blueprint and the scaling blueprint you know our clients love it i'm not going to plug those too much our students are killing it we're really proud of the work we're doing um but unfortunately during this season or unfortunately in some perspectives fortunately in other perspectives you know during this season um i'm being pushed up against a wall you know i'm getting married in less than a month uh, or just just over a month right now and then i've got my honeymoon after that all the while I'm building a whole new product for the business. So rebuilding consulting blueprint from scratch all the way from the ground up again, building new funnels and new sales cycles for the company, bringing on new team members for the company and investing a lot of my money back into the company and taking some massive risks. You know, in the past couple months, I've probably spent three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000 on projects that will grow the business. And I noticed something in myself. I noticed that I was beginning to get desperate. And I noticed that I was beginning to get kind of attached to the outcome a little bit and like almost anxious. Like, what if this doesn't work? What if I'm taking all these risks and it, it won't work for me? And, you know, a buddy of mine recommended to me a book called The Levels of Energy. And I'm not necessarily saying that I recommend this book directly because I'm very careful nowadays with my book recommendations. Often people will read a book that I recommend and assume that I believe everything the book has to say. That's just not true. But one of the things that this book said was, and it just was such a powerful reminder for me, well-being is the prerequisite to having the things that you want in life, not, you know, the opposite. So a lot of people think that once they have the things that they want, like the business they want, the relationship they want, the physique and body that they want, that then they have the permission to have an inner sense of well-being and a sense of gratitude and fulfillment and happiness and a sense of presence and joy in each moment. And I know I might be sounding a little airy-fairy to some people, but the reality is well-being is a prerequisite to those things, not the inverse. And so I caught myself just getting very desperate. I caught myself, you know, getting really attached to like, sorry, there's a car coming. I'm just walking back to my apartment from the gym, getting really attached to like the results that these projects are supposed to bring in. You know, we're, right now we're launching a new funnel and it should bring in 150 to $200,000 of sales a month. While at the same time, I'm training my sales guys and my setters on a new process that should bring in another 100 to $200,000 in sales a month. So I'm like, I've got two major projects at the same time while I'm also building new product. And it's just like, you know, I'm in this like daily routine of seven, eight, nine hour work days, getting all this off the ground. And, uh, you know, just that routine of that cycle it's very easy to start to get in your head and start to care a little too much about the outcome. And so I just wanna remind you, like I need reminded myself that, you know, it's a matter of relaxation and understanding that, you know, even if you don't reach your goals, you're still alive and you still have the relationships you have, the background and upbringing that you have and everything. At least that's the case for me. And so I just kind of want to put this out there because I know a lot of entrepreneurs follow me and are under, under a similar level of pressure and not the world doesn't really get it. You know, they don't really understand how much pressure you go through, you know, and then you're like taxed to hell too. <laughs> so it's like, you've got all these reasons to stop. And I just want to let you know and remind you that well-being, first and foremost on the inside is the prerequisite not the aim, not the outcome. You know, paradoxically, the things that you desire and are, well, the things that you're desperate for, the things that you need, you will push away from yourself. And so need nothing, learn to need nothing and learn to grow your business from a place of stewardship um, and a place of enjoying the game for the sake of the game. And I think there's the greatest rewards on the other side of that. All right, have a good day.